As the film begins, a young boy named Evan appears on the scene. Her mother's condition was critical. He sat alongside her, grabbing her hand. Nonetheless, his mother died soon after. Evan's family consisted solely of his mother. Evan was already an orphan, thus he was depressed. Nonetheless, Evan was a hard worker. After a few days, he returns to the bar where he used to work. While sitting there, some patrons begin to argue with him, claiming that there was a lack of smoke in their establishment. Evan was not in a fit state to fight anyone. So he starts fighting with them, beating them so badly that they lose their strength and are on the verge of losing consciousness. As a result, the pub owner chastises Evan for his bad behavior. You will not report to work starting tomorrow, which means I am terminating your employment at this bar. Evan returns to his house from there, sad. However, when he wakes up the next day, he notices a police officer standing outside his door. The officer had come to Evan's house to seize him because of a bar brawl the next day. Evan did not want to get involved in these problems because he was already depressed. So he rushes to the airport, gets his passport and packs his belongings, and flies to Italy from there. His friends also arrive in Italy, and they begin to enjoy themselves excessively, including Evan, who had been disturbed and in trouble previously. He was laughing now, and he was feeling excited with his friends, but whenever he realized that his mother had died, he became unhappy again. Now Evan is with his friends somewhere else. He notices a girl standing there in a red dress, and he becomes too enamored with her. But he lacks the guts to speak to her, so he departs. When he returns, he sees the same girl again, and Evan declares that he will definitely speak to her now, asking her name and approaching her immediately. When that girl says her name is Louise, Evan asks her directly, will you be a buddy of mine? That girl refuses to say no. I'm not interested in becoming involved in a relationship. Evan persuades her excessively and declares, you have drawn me. Let's take a walk. We'll also have lunch with it, so that female is on board. Evan was overjoyed since he had never been attracted to a girl before, and it was finally time for him to go on a walk with someone. When their return time approaches the next day, Evan's friends tell him to hurry up. We'll have to go soon, so pack your belongings. As a result, Evan responds in an unpredictable manner. He says I'll stay here, and I'll look for employment here. In truth, he is interested in that girl, so he wants to stay here with her. However, he is concerned that he does not have enough money to stay here, so he looks for a job on a farm. And it is there that he begins to live. After that day arrives, Louise takes him to a museum today, where he had to meet with that girl. She tells him that it's my work as she shows him several ancient painted pots and stones. Evan inquires, do you paint? Then Louise says, no. I work as an, an archaeologist. Because I sought these old items, Evan compliments them. They both return to the house after that. And Louise and Evan retire for the night. However, as the sun rises, they are confronted with a strange phenomenon. It appeared like Louise had some entity in her, and her skin was deteriorating as she transformed into a bizarre creature. She was also looking terrible, so she got up right away. She was also not walking normally, so she killed a cat she saw on the road. It means Louise was not a normal human being. She was a beast, and she hadn't told Evan it. Now Louise and Evan are having supper together. Evan there says to Louise, come. I'm going to photograph you. Despite this, Evan persuades Louise to take her photo, and he observes that his shot is producing the same poor results as before. It also meant that she was not an average human being. When their supper is delivered to them, Louise begins to feel strange. She immediately runs from there, getting up, and she begins to stroll along the street as if she were a disembodied spirit. Then a man approaches who believes she is in difficulty, but Louise kills him. Her face shows in the front, and it is horrifying. The scene then shifts to the morning. Louise is at her laboratory, and she's also inspecting a man. At the same time, an odor begins to come from there, and Louise notices that she is once again converting into that creature when inspecting her physic. As soon as he departs, she morphs into that monstrosity. She has a strong desire to eat, so she returns home right away. And she chooses one of the two rabbits housed at the house, the bunnies were so beautiful that no one could imagine harming or killing them. However, Louise makes them victims. And then she starts acting weirdly. She used to inject herself when she noticed she was morphing into that creature while at home. Her health was restored as a result of this. 
She was tired up with it all and wondered, how much longer would I lie to Evan? I'll have to speak the truth in front of him, and I'll have to leave him alone, she says to Evan as she walks up to him. I'm afraid I won't be able to stay with you for too long. Evan then asks her, why are you saying that? Don't venture too far. We've become close friends, just let me know if you have any issues. Louise then exclaims, do you not understand? Get out of here. Evan leaves that place again after being disappointed, he moves to his farm, where police immediately approach, the job that he was doing here was illegal, so he flees, he immediately moves to Louise's house, where he hopes to spend a few days until police officers arrive, however when he unlocks her house door, he finds Louise nowhere. He notices a strange creature laying on the floor, which turns out to be Louise. She was dying because she couldn't summon the strength to take the syringe that had been set aside for her. That injection was a life-saving necessity for her at the moment. Evan doesn't understand why she's as shaped the way she is at first, but he knows that injection is required to save her life. So he injects her neck while lifting the syringe, and Louise progressively transforms into a human being after being injected. But there was still that disgusting liquid on her body, and Evan comes up to her and demands, why did you hide that from me? I told you that you were welcome to share it with me. Then Louise responds, you could go a long way if you knew anything, and Evan asks, tell me. What's your name? Louise informs me that I am years old. I was a creature, and those paintings you saw in the museum were mine, I didn't go looking for them. Those continue with me as time passes, but a change in my DNA sequence has occurred, and my body cells have begun to deteriorate themselves in the spring season after years, leaving me too feeble. As a result, I have to inject myself often for this cause. She responds, I didn't form a relationship with you since I had no feeling, I am a creature, and Evan says to her, I'm thinking you have some superhuman power. No. She exclaims. I've had this ailment for years, and it turns a man into a monster. I've had this disease for a long time since I was a small child, and I've been a creature from that time till now until my physical condition improves. Neither I can turn into a common human being nor can I die, I must inject myself again. One day, my physic will be free of this disease, and my body cells will transform me into a human being, evolving themselves. Louise inquires of Evan, now you know everything. Please leave my life alone. I don't want you to suffer because of me, because I'm also unconscious of who I'm devouring and who I'm harming after morphing into the creature. Please leave. Then Evan starts crying and says, I have no one in this world, I liked you for the first time, I understand. Louise tells him, I can't take any chances, I've never been in love with anyone before now because I'm worried it will change my physiology. That injection will stop affecting my body, and I will not recover, it is also possible that I will remain immortal forever, now I am also rejoicing, transforming into a human being, I just have a problem with my transformation into a creature, which I will soon solve, leaving myself far away from you. Okay. Says Evan to Louise. Don't startle me, we spent some time together last time. Now they both travel to the ruin where Louise was born, where they stroll and take a look around. They stay there until nightfall, even though it was about to dawn. They were both seated in the same spot. Louise says to Evan suddenly, now the sun is going to rise, and I'm recognizing that some changes are occurring in my body, you may leave now. I'm about to be converted into the deadliest thing imaginable, but Evan says no. I'll never abandon you. Louise is terrified that she would soon convert into a beast, and the entire body cell process has started. However, she does not transform into the creature, and the creature's marks on her body begin to fade. And she begins to transform into a normal human being. She also feels certain changes in her body. She had also known that she had generated feelings for Evan. The changes in her body permanently cured that creature's condition. She still fears that she would never love anyone. I will not be anyone's friend, because there may be an issue in her body cell process. When changes in her senses occurred, her body cells began to evolve, and she had turned into a natural human being. The moral to this story is that we should build affection for one another, whether they are our parents or siblings, and that we should also be happy with our people. In order to be content naturally. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching.